Hi Floss Tube. It's Luella with Stitching on the Go. Welcome back to my channel and I am so glad to see you. I know it's been a while. Um, I thought I was going to get back to you sooner and I'd actually done a video um, like the next week after my first video and honestly I it was long and I had spent so much time trying to figure out how to get my words on my the stuff I show you to actually um, read write for you guys to unmirror it and so I haven't figured out how to do it on my phone because um, I have a Samsung if anybody knows how to do that that would be great because it's a better camera um, but on one of the floss tube um, shows I was watching I it gave me the impression they were t um, videotaping on a tablet so I checked my tablet and sure enough it automatically unmirrored it and um, so that's what I'm doing right now so it's not as great of a thing but it will have to do until I can somehow mirror it to my computer and get it fixed so that I can um, not use it like on the selfie mode but on the um, regular mode so anyway I'm excited to be back um, there's been a lot that's happened we did go on the camping trip. Um, we had a great time. Um, I'm the one that was the accident prone person. I managed to accidentally jump into the lake off the dock and I had forgotten my glasses were on so I kind of got a cut all the way up there. Um, you can't see it now. It healed nicely. Um, and then when I was putting away our tent, it was one of those that uh, like goes together in a minute, you know, kind of things. And I, was, I had it all folded up, trying to put it into the um, bag it came in. And somehow I got my fingers in there and got them smashed. Thought I was going to have to go to the hospital on that, you know, to um, relieve the pressure on my fingernail. But... Luckily, it um, healed nicely, and I didn't have to go. And um, but it was great seeing family, and we did some stitching. My mom did her quilting, and um, had a great time seeing my my sisters, uh, Bonnie and Connie, and their kids. Um, some of them came. Some of them oh, kind of like have two like different age groups. I'm. My kids, um, my sister Angie and Bonnie, all the kids are actually getting pretty older. And most of them are out of the house already. Um, Bonnie has a few that's still in the house. Um, but my sister Connie has just basically started. And um, then I have another sister, um, Raina, and she's only like eight or nine. So uh, huge age gaps and different things. But we all had a great time. And um, my dad went fishing, and um, they did all go out canoeing a little bit. Uh, so that was great. Then we went from there pretty much to camp meeting, which is the old-fashioned camp meetings where you each um, you go. Uh, we have some for each uh, age group. Um, so all the way from you know babies all the way up to the adults and so I went on the weekends for that and then I started a new job uh, last week and um, we'll see how that goes it's as a, re a reservationist at a hotel um, but so far I'm kind of finding it boring um, it's after taking care of kids 40 kids on a bus um, and then now just sitting waiting for a phone to end, ring, you know, it's, yeah, we got a lot of time. Um, but I'm, I'm not totally trained, so I'm not actually doing reservations yet. I'm just um, the operator and sending the calls out now to the different departments and hoping I get them to the right one. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's a big place, uh, like 1,200 employees, so um, huge. Anyway, but I did get some stitching done. Um... I, if, what I recall, I only actually got two finishes done, and, um, one of them, I don't have a picture for it, but it was really cute, it was like a fisherman, but, um, the head, it was like a fish head, 
in the, the man's body and, you know, all the fishing gear and uh, the quote under there said, they said this would happen one day. And um, I gave that to my dad for Father's Day. And I had put it on um, some homespun that I found that was like, like a dark blue with a tan uh, plaid. And um, so it turned out nice, but it was just a little small project and I've already given it away. I have a picture of it. If you want to see it, just comment below. Um, but the one that I did get done is what most some of the people I've seen out there do, which is the Knee High by 4th of July. And um, I did change some colors on there. Uh, like the tassels, uh, there was like this bright orange because um, I'm doing it in the DMC colors. And I didn't, it didn't look like corn tassels to me. Uh, so I changed it up to basically just um, one strand of this gold. So I had to change this to match it. And so I brought the blue up instead of the orange. And then instead of the gray, I put this barn red on there. And then I did change the white to the 3865. Um, so it was a little brighter than the Ecru, um, but not bright, bright, because the rest of it is actually, you know, more muted. And I put it on this um, stand that uh, everybody's um, been getting for the Chock Full series. And that's what I got it for. And I will use it for that. But right now I've put everything on magnets. As you can see, this comes off. So I have three magnets on there. And then um, I have magnets on here to stick to the metal. And then I can I can switch out whichever one I want to switch out. And um, for now. So that was exciting. I got that. I didn't, it's not totally, totally finished because I do, I did get some daisies and I want to put that on there, but I don't know how to really do bows. Um, I have a brother-in-law that makes some really, really pretty bows. In fact, we save them on our packages and we use them as Christmas ornaments. Uh, so, but he's in the process of moving and, um, as soon as he is settled, he has agreed to help me make bows like how to teach me. So I'm excited about that. But, um, so I've done some other work uh, in the last month. Um, one of them that I did while I was driving was this one. Now this one here was already done, except um, in the, it's not supposed to have a background. But if you look very, very, well, it's not coming up. Um, very faintly, I used a quilter's pencil to um, grit it. And unfortunately, it didn't come out. I even took it to the cleaners, and their stuff didn't bring it out either. And so I didn't want to toss it, so I have been putting white um, for the background. Um, in between the shelves around all of the uh, things. So um, I've been slowly been doing that. I don't need a pattern for it. So it was right for the, the car. That was amazing. Um, the other thing that I've been doing, I had a couple days where I had my challenge, or I don't want to call it a challenge. It's the Stitch Olympics that I'm in for full coverage. And... I think the last time I showed you, I was up here. I didn't have any of this done and I was still doing stuff down here. So I have finished all of this and um, I'm on to page three now. And um, it's not coming along as fast as I would like it, but as I said in the first one, uh, you know, the dragon, I, oh, here's the dragon's ear. I'm so excited. I get to start on the little dragon now. But um, it's not my idea of a great stitching topic. But 
um, it's been easy. It's just getting motivated to do that. And then, you know, around all of the other projects that I wanted to do. So, um, I wanted to do some, like, Americana. I don't know why I don't, I don't, I've never decorated for 4th of July. Um, but neither have I really decorated for holidays. And I really like the idea. So, um, I am starting. So now I have that, the, the knee high. Uh, by 4th of July and then I am start I started this one um, it's almost done I just need to figure out um, well I have one flag yet to do a little bit of um, a little bit of the fence left to do and then of course the door and the windows but these windows um, I changed out some colors so the church was tan and I put it white and um, so they had put tan inside those windows so I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do um, but I will have this done by this afternoon so or this evening so I want to get this done because tomorrow starts jolly July and I think I'm mostly prepared so that was all I have worked on this month, I think, um, those five projects. So I thought I would go through quickly to do my, um, my tentative plan for uh, July and all the ornaments. So I am going to try to do um, one a day, but I don't have enough of them and I've got tons of Christmas ornaments so it's not a big priority that I do t 10 of them or one a day getting 30 of them but I don't have like I, I would like to get some small ones for fall and um, that kind of in you know some of the other ones so I'm gonna add those in but the first this isn't this is not in order but I'm gonna do these 10 um, little ornaments and I'm talking they are are very little um, total finish I think is three by or like four by four I mean it's not big at all and so I think I should be able to do this in the middle of my month I have a um, I am doing a, a fair booth for my church and we're we're doing some health things so I'm gonna be there from like 10 o'clock in the morning till 9 o'clock at night I know there's probably going to be some downtime that I can stitch. I'll take some of my projects with me. Um, but if it's busy and I don't get any time to stitch in there in between, um, then I know that I can at least get these started um, in the like early morning or when I get done at home to just kind of relax. So I figured I could get them done. And, you know... I don't think I'm going to start one a day if I haven't finished the first one. So I'm going to start and then, you know, just kind of go as fast as I can with all of them. Um, if I finish that day, then I might wait until the next day. Um, but here's 10 of them. That takes up a good chunk of the month. And then I just got this one. These are going to take a little bit longer. Let's see if they'll focus in. These are the mason jar ornaments, um, and I love mason jars. I absolutely love them. Um, I'm a canner. I love canning, so um, and I, I love decorating in them. So I'm looking forward to doing these four, and um, it's on plastic though, and so I'm not too thrilled about that, but. Who knows, maybe I will switch it over to fabric, but I don't know. It's in a kit, it comes that way, so I might just do it as that. Um, then these, uh, the birdhouses that I had started, I have this one to finish. Um, I'm going to do some pumpkins down here, and then this one should be mostly done. And then, of course, this one's the winter one. It has, I think, snowflakes or something. But I want to finish those two up to get those done. 
that'll be another two days. And then, um, I started this one in the Mania, and this was the Cardinal. Um, I want to, um, work on this one, uh, while, during the month. And, um, then I have my teapot ornaments. Uh, there's this one I had done last, uh, during the mania, and I need to make another one with just little different colors on there for my friend. But, um, as you see, I've had these kitted up. There's different teapots. Um, so, there's six of them between the one I have to redo. Or not redo, I'll just make another one of. So that's six days I'm going to do those and hopefully get those done. And then that will be also a mania finish, too, on top of it. I'm, I'm double booking, or whatever you want to say. <laughs> then I got a couple cute little kits. Um, and i would gotten some physical. Uh, this one came from the World of Cross Stitching. And this cute little bear with the hat, so I thought I'd do that. Um, I'll probably do it, like, in an ornament or something for the wall or something not... A card I, me in the mailbox has never really gotten along very well but and then this one came with cross stitch crazy so um, again I probably won't put it in the um, a card form but I will stick it in the um, I'll make something out of it and then um, I have some fall ones that I want to make, some small little fall ones. I just haven't decided yet. Um, I figure I have some time. I'll work on the Christmas ornaments first. And then um, if I get a huge progress done on those, then I will go to other, um, other ones. So I did want to show you this. I told you that I, was, I had dyed some fabric. Um, at my mom's and I think I stuck it on Instagram if you want to um, see my pictures that I po post I don't post daily but I try to post um, most of them up there now um, my finishes and I think I'm pretty sure I posted the one with the fish head um, for my dad um, so on Instagram, it's the same as my stitching thing, um, stitching on the go. Um, and I had put like pictures of the dye pots and everything and the, all the different colors that I got. So I had gotten purple and I thought, oh, what a wonderful way. Uh, or is this exact size I need. And this color is just off. It looks black, but it is really, really dark purple. And I don't know if I'm going to get a, a decent color on the camera. Um, but maybe if I put this. Yeah, that's not working. So it's a deep purple. And I am doing this on it. The tulip house. And tulips are my favorite flowers. And so, um, I have two pieces. One will be for this, that, the, the small, and then the tulip house. So I'm kind of excited to start that, but, and I might start it this month, but I'm not sure because, um, Chalkful is coming. Um, the Harvest Chalkful and with the sunflowers. And, um, I have that coming in the mail. That should be here Monday with all the threads but then I says well I forgot to get the fabric because I only have enough of this purple and I don't think that the rest of them are really going to look great on the purple so I did go ahead and get the black um, Ada and um, I did get all the threads for the tulip house so we went to Linza Madison and first time at a at a LNS, so it was really exciting. So these are really the colors. The only one I changed was there was a melon color 
for one of the tulips. And I'm not fond of melon color, um, although it was darker than I looked in the picture. So I am substituting this yellow. So I'll have pink and yellow tulips. I'm kind of excited about that. So, but I'm also excited about the mason jar with the sunflowers in it. So we'll see which one wins and um, get started. Um, because I don't think I can do both of them. I'll have them both kitted up. I have two packages coming from 123 Stitch with fabrics and patterns and that. So, um, yeah, I am really excited about that. Uh, another project that I am doing this month is... Um, I've got it kitted up. This is my go-to. So I'm taking this to work. And unfortunately, I took it to work today and realized I didn't have any needles in it. So it's vinyl um, cross-stitch. It's vinyl mesh. And their swatch, is, it's called the Swatch Pat, uh, Project. And... Um, on, I'll link it below or put the hashtag down below. Um, yeah, I, it starts with we or whatever, we little cross stitch or something like that. But anyway, those of us that want to um, switch out their threads, um, I noticed because I have enough threads that they're all individually in a different um, drawer in a nut, nuts and bolts organizer. And there's nine of them that hold 60 colors each. And um, so trying to go through, and I can go and get, you know, probably 10 $20, you know, the DMC thing. Um, and then I thought about doing it myself, and then this came up, and... Um, so if you wanted to switch out your, like, I'm going to put all greens on one ring and all reds on another ring and all of that, and you can stick them next to each other. You can figure out which color you want to switch out if you're designing, um, and you want to see what the color really looks like instead of just a picture on there, you can pull out your ring and you can, you know, look for, because the number, um, I, the pattern is a little different. They had their number on the bottom. I put the number on the top and then I may I I extend it out so that I can stick it on a ring. So 3345. And um so then I'll be able to just go to what I call is my warehouse <laughs> um and pick out um the thread I need. You know, so I don't have to I can just keep these at my desk and then when I need to uh switch out color or um I'm I'm looking at doing some designs and I really want to do that so um, I want to know that so the square ones or the rectangular ones are going to be all DMC um, pretty basic but there's other shapes you can do that I'm thinking about doing so I'm thinking you know like hearts and circles and that kind of stuff or diamonds and um, so I'll switch it up for like you know weeks die and classic color works and the, the different ones so I'll, I'll have a I'll know which one it goes but this is going to take me a while, so I figured I'd take it to work and just take a few and get, you know, just knock them out. If I, I want to, my goal is to do one or two a day and, you know, eventually I'll get done with it. <laughs> so, <clears throat> on to haul. And I'm hoping that this is a shorter movie or video, so I just want to quickly go, um, as I said, I went to um, Lynn's of Madison um, and got a few patterns. Um, and most of these were on clearance. So they're either out of print or they're not carrying them anymore or anything like that. So this one here is Joshua, and I thought this was so cute. Um, and, you know, most of you know the history of samplers. They learn their ABCs. Um, this particular one was what they learned in their Sunday school because it says this is my Sunday school lesson. And then their name, their age, and the year. And um, so this is 
was done by Agnes Perch, age 8, in 1835. And it was her Sunday school. So I thought that was really cute. Um, this one here, I think, is adorable. I'm not sure. Let's see if I can... Um, I'm going to read it to you because any stitcher is going to love this. Um, the twining texture of this thread may speak of me when I am dead, but grace, not art, survives the tomb and gives the soul immortal bloom. I, it was just, I think, just precious. So that is definitely on my to-do list to do. This one here, um, plain, simple, uh, sampler. I'm not sure when I'll do that, but um, oh, that was cute. This one here, my mom has sheep, and so um, I got that. She also has strawberries, or did for a while. Big strawberry sheep does produce. So I thought that was cute. Here's another one. Um, this is a Manson, so Jane Austen. And it says to sit in the shade on a fine day and look upon verdure is the most perfect refreshment. So, um, I thought that, and I have a couple, that I, did, I did download a couple um, Jane Austen ones that I had seen uh, Whistle Stop uh, Stitcher do. She had done one, and then they had another matching one. And so I've got a few Jane Austen ones. Um, I don't remember if I showed you last time. I'm getting the, the houses, the trio houses. So I have the summer one. And I have, I, I started downloading. Wax, Waxing Moon Designs actually downloads, it has PDF downloads. So um, I think I have most of the seasons now and on downloads um, most of you have seen them uh, I'm working on my the hometown hometown holiday so I have the coffee shop the florist the bookstore and of course my house which of course I'll put um, my last name in there. Um, I got, oh, here was a couple more that I'd gotten from, and this is not going to work very well. Uh, Lindsay Madison, this is Harvest Sampler. So this is giving thanks. Let's see. I'm not sure if we're going to get, it's a blurry picture to start with, but it says, give thanks aloud to God, to God, the heavenly King, and let the spacious earth, his works and glories uh, sing with a thankful heart. And then the year, you, you, you know, your initials in the near ear. So a little house and turkey and that. This one is the highways and hedges, and it says in the highways and the, in the hedges, I'll be somewhere working for my Lord. Then they had this one, a New England winter sampler. And I'm really sorry, these pictures are kind of really blurry. I'm not sure if it's my camera or the um that so this one's the Merry Christmas uh Country Cottage Needleworks the last one was Little House Needleworks and then I got the one that everybody's been working on lately for the fourth of July I probably won't get it done this year um America Land that I love Country Cottage Work Country Cottage Needleworks so those were just a few. I have some more. Um, I have the Buzzy Strings, the Lizzie Kate, the strings um, for the seasons coming, and a few others. Um, 
that I'm really excited about. Uh, so I think that I've gotten it and then we're at sitting at 30 minutes. This has been exciting. I will get this um, uploaded. And um, if you have any questions about any of what I showed you, I know it probably didn't come out as clear. Just comment below. And um, if you, um, I'd like to see, you know, comments like, tell me about yourself, you know, who you are um, that, you know, is watching. I know, you know, um, you know, for first video, quite a few of you did watch my first video. I was really happy about that. And um, I want to know who, who you are. So why don't you introduce yourself down below in the comment section. Um, subscribe to my channel. And um, I hope to see you. I hope it's not as, as long. I am really glad that I have found at least a small solution until I can afford to get a uh, um, figure out how to, to mirror um, that but I do need some lights because my my craft section and now that is over in my living room and it's darker um, so I'm sitting in my living room or my dining room right now and it, I've got actual like daylight um, lamps in the, the chandelier so it's a lot better but um, anyway I'm so excited to um, be back here and um, I hope to see you next week. Have a great week. Happy stitching. Bye-bye.